Hello, and welcome back to this edition of Bayou Time. Again, your host, Keith Weissite, licensed clinical social worker. Thanks so much for joining us. And again, I love doing this this time of year because it reminds us of all the good work that's done in our communities. Uh, some of that really good work, TFAE and Ashley Barahona. Ashley, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Keith, for having me. Absolutely. It's always a pleasure. Thanks. So it's just so very nice. You guys do such good work all year round. But this is the time of year when you get to kind of share some of that love. Tell us yeah, about that. Yeah, so tis the season to write checks, right? <laughs> it's the season to have a check, big yes. checkbook. Yes, and TFAE, TFAE, the Terrible Foundation for Academic Excellence, has been busy writing checks to our educators. I love it. We have given out over $72,000 in our teacher grants for this year. So it's that's incredible so the amount of impact that's going to make in our classrooms and to education across the parish. Well, and the fact that you guys are so dedicated to that. And we're going to talk a little bit about how and where that money comes from. But the fact that y'all are able to give that out and y'all are so very strategic about who gets that money and how it's best used. Well, yes, but we also want to make it very convenient for our teachers to apply for it because that's right. the whole process of what we're trying to accomplish is to put the money in the hands of our educators. Right. And so we have a new teacher grant, which we allocated um, over $50,000 to the new teacher grants. Wow. And we given out 104. Every new teacher that applied for that grant this year was given the $500 to um, purchase supplies for their classrooms. And new teachers doesn't necessarily mean new to the classroom. But if you're a right. teacher that's been teaching for, you know, 10 years, and you switch subjects, and you right. might need new supplies and new things in the classroom, those can fall under the requirements of the new teacher grant for this year. So and 104 of those. 104 of those, yes. And so it's really, really interesting. We've seen over the years, and you and I have seen it, talking with some of these educators, they used to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars yes. out of their own pocket. And we know what teachers make. And the fact that they would do that, it's because of the love that they have for educating our students and our kids. And the fact that y'all can support 104 of them that have applied is just phenomenal. It is. It's a, it's an extreme blessing. And then in addition to our new teacher grants, we also have the Philip Martin Science Grant, which a group of uh, donors in the community decided to invest in the Philip Martin Science Grant right. um, prior to him retiring as superintendent. Mm -hmm. So we had some funds for that this year that we allocated over $2,000 to a teacher at Legion Park wow. to um, purchase some STEM-related project materials. Mm -hmm. And then we given out in our Innovative Ed Grant $11,000 to a, a librarian at Mulberry for her STEAM project, right. which is a STEM, but an added addition with the arts as well into that. And then our um, final allocation with our Innovative Ed Grant went to Terrebonne High, a teacher at Terrebonne High, to purchase some state-of-the-art calculators, which oh, are wow. really cool. Cool. Yeah, yeah, so it's going to be utilized across the board for those students in those different schools. I, I love that. And, and just validating what our teachers and educators do and, and just doing this award in honor of Mr. Philip Martin and, and the years of service that he put in, it just it it allows for the namesake to keep continuing to give. Absolutely. Right? And we couldn't do any of this without our donors and investors in the community. Yeah. Um, this is our donations at work, the impact mm -hmm. it's making in the classrooms. Um, it's a true testament to the mission of TFAE. We've given out over $3 million um, in, in grants to impact education and to basically in, inspire our educators to think innovatively and to kind of incorporate technology into the classroom and think outside the box. It's inspiring the educators to enrich the lives of the of kids, of right? Kids, it's yes. just so very cool. Yeah. Uh, and now, look, we wouldn't be able to do it without the big event, right? So yes. let's, I know it's coming back up in May. I know it's, you know, six months away, but <laughs> it's let's right talk around a little, the corner. Let's just talk about that run for excellence. And the importance Correct. Of it. Yeah. So the run for excellence is our big fundraiser and that's how we raise money to do what we do for our different projects and programs. You know, Dolly Parton Imagination Library, right. our uh, grant projects, our girls who code pro program, everything we do throughout the year, we could not do it without the community getting involved in our 5k run for excellence and food festival, which is going to be held May 11th, which is always the day before Mother's Day. Right. And so we encourage you to come out. This is your donation. This is your investment at work. And it's truly making an impact in our community, one grant at a time in our classrooms. And I love the fact that it's always the same day. People can, they can mark it down on their calendar. Every year. Find Mother's Day and it's the day before. What a great way to honor a mother. Correct. Right. And also because mothers tend to be the ones 
and, and nothing against dads, you know, but they have some dads that do some motherly things. But mothers tend to be the ones that really kind of help enrich the children's lives. And then when they turn that over to, to the schools to be able to do that, I think it's like a mother's dream come true to see a lot of this work being done and what TFAE is doing in the school system Absolutely. that they would continue. Right? And it falls at the end of the year for our teachers. So it's a great yes. celebration for them yes. as well to come out and just really enjoy the time that they have invested and really kind of take in what they truly are in the classroom doing and they're impacting our, our future leaders of tomorrow. And so it's a chance for TFAE to also say thank you to our educators in a different way. And for them to take a breath and go, okay, the summer's coming. I love my job, but the summer's coming. <laughs> yes, you know, yes. Kinda, we, we hear about teachers all the time that, you know, we're not really sure if the students are looking forward to the summer Absolutely. nearly as much as yes. the, but listen, that's part of why it's being done. I, I know yeah. a number of mothers that are working in the school system now in, in the, a myriad of positions so that they can actually spend more time with their kids yeah. for the yeah. summer. And that's kind of what that's Absolutely. about. And I so, encourage the teachers to, to visit our website because okay. our grants cycle will be coming up again soon. Okay. So if you're Very an nice. educator in, in the in Terrebonne Parish, visit our website www.tfae.org for information. We are going to uh, be some changes in our grant process and okay. and things of that nature just to help get those that money into the hands of our teacher. We know that they're overwhelmed with paperwork and things of that nature. So anything we can do to make it easier to apply, we want to do. So keep a lookout on our website of the recent changes we're going to be having for the upcoming and it, year. And if that $500 grant paid for a pin, use it for your application for the next one. <laughs> yes, Ashley, absolutely. We appreciate your time as Thank always. Thank you for having us. All right. Thank you. All right, guys, that will do it for this particular segment and for Bayou Time. Don't go anywhere. A whole lot more local programming right here on HTV.